Hi there, Spitfire here with Game Mode 5, and today we will be playing um, Orcs Must Die, and we will be playing the Baths um, level here. Uh, as you can see on the right-hand corner of the screen, I do have the high score previously, and we are going to go ahead and play it, but uh, remember, uh, we do uh, this particular playthrough, we're just going to work on surviving with the tools that we have rather than going back and getting a high score. Now this one is a particularly hard one um, with the tools that we have initially. <clears throat> now we can always come back later and we can uh, we can pretty much ace this no problem but at least right now this is going to be tough. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, our arrow walls. We're going to take some tar traps. Uh, we're also going to take our floor scorchers and spike traps. And let's see here. And that leaves us with hmm. Let's go ahead and take a boom barrel. That'll be nice to have. Alright, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to slow them down here. And yeah, we've got some crossbow orcs and we've got orc warriors. Okay, once we've got them slowed down here, we've got more time to react to them. And there we go. Now, normally speaking, this is not the setup I would use. However, this is what we're sort of forced to use at the moment because we don't have all of our traps. Alright. And, of course, always focus on headshots when you can. I know it's not always going to be possible, but it will save you lots of time. Even though it might seem a waste now, it will come in handy. Alright, and here we go. We are taking them out in... in droves. Alright, and here you can see I was saved by a headshot. Headshots are always good to have. And they're always good to learn to do. Um, and here you can see that I actually lose control and some of the orcs do get into the rift. Um, this is such a hard level early on. Just try to minimize whatever damage you can. If they get in, they get in. It's not going to be the end of the world. Also, remember that's where you get your cash from, so always try to, uh, always try to make sure that, uh, you, you kill everything you possibly can. Don't get lazy and just say, oh, well, Spitfire said it was okay. No, it's really not okay, but it's something that if it happens, you've just gotta roll with. Remember, this isn't a high scoring guy, this is just surviving with the traps you have. Alright. Alright, here we go, and we are headshotting our way through these these ogres. Alright. And as you can see here, I am running low on health, so I actually do the stupidest thing I possibly could have, and I ran into the fire. However, or not the fire, but the fire fight. Um, but I went ahead, I took that one out, and this one here, too. Um, you could have just run back to the Nexus, or the, the Rift, rather, and allowed it to heal you, or... Uh, there, you had plenty of options other than the mistake that you just watched me make. 
All right, and here we go. They are out of the gate, and we are doing everything we can to keep them um, from uh, from getting through. Now we're trying to watch that barrel and keep ourselves from accidentally setting that off because we will probably need that here in just a moment. Do not be scared of using your stun. The longer you keep them on that tar, the better off that you are. And no, the rhyme is not intended. Alright. Now we just have one more. There we go. Alright. Now that we are here and we've got some extra cash to burn, we can go ahead and, uh, there we go. We can go ahead and do this. Now, if we would have killed all of our ogre or our orcs so far, we would have had more cash to work with. But again, we have to deal with the hand that we are dealt, uh, or play with the hand that we're dealt. All right. So, uh, we will go ahead and defend as much as we can. Uh, kill them as they come out. Here we go. Here we go, we are just uh, melting face just as much as we possibly can. Uh, remember, once they get this far, the, the name of the game is just to uh, make sure that they do not get to the rift. We only have eight ogres that are allowed to get to the rift before uh, we lose this level entirely, and you've got to keep that from happening. Uh, Here we go. Saved by the Scorcher. Very nice. Now if I was smart here, I would place more, yes I do, place more Floor Scorchers. And here we go, perfect. <clears throat> No, you cannot be the good guy, Mr. Orc. Alright. So, here we are doing our best to maximize our combos. Not necessarily to keep our score up, but to get our money. Uh, money is very important, and sometimes those upgrades that you make on the fly can make the difference between making a level and not making a level. Alright. Very nice. Alright, so we've got 900 uh, coins there. And here you can see I actually place an arrow wall there because if I do have any issues, I was planning on running uh, through that area to soften them up and or kill them if I couldn't. If you've got a lot of extra money, uh, investing in those arrow walls there might actually be a good idea. Alright, beautiful. Now as you can see, I'm running low on health again. So what I'm going to do, rather than being an idiot like I was before, I run back to the rift, it starts to heal me, and I run back into battle. That is the smart thing to do. Rather than just letting them kill you and taking the hit, uh, try to get yourself to a point that will heal you. Beautiful. 
And as you can see here, we only got two skulls, but that's okay. Remember, this is a survival guide, not a high-scoring five-skull guide. We will get into that later, and uh, next episode we'll be doing Runner's Alley. Till next time, I'm Spitfire with Game Mode 5. Like. Subscribe. Comments, please.